us now this morning on Sports Center. So the get a franchise record, 18th straight with a win over the Blazers last night. What is it about this Atlanta team that's impressed you the most? I love this team. I think this team is really, I mean, people are right now in Golden State, other than it's an 82-game season, and no one can play 82 good games. They got a little cocky, a little complacent. They have a turnover problem at times, and they try to make too many threes at times, in my mind. But when I think when it gets to the nitty-gritty, I still think they're the best team in the Western Conference. Real quick, who you got in the Super Bowl? I'm sorry? Who you got in the Super Bowl? Seattle. See? Sonics. All I, uh, the Sonics here. Yeah. It's like defense. I mean, I love, I love still, their defense. Still true yeah. to Seattle. There he is. You know, George Carl with us this morning. Uh, we got some fans out. For more on this, we want to welcome in Stephen A. Smith. Hawks have won 18 straight. We talked to you about this every weekend. And last weekend, you said you were a believer, but you didn't think they were the best in these. They're the best in all of basketball right now. Who do you believe in more, the Hawks or the Warriors? Well, I believe in the Hawks right now because they're in the Eastern Conference. They don't have to contend with the opponents that the Golden State Warriors have to contend with. Reminding everybody that compares San Antonio to Atlanta because of Budenholzer, a protege of Greg Popovich, is that Budenholzer does not have Tim Duncan. Tim Duncan, everything started with him. You got a seven-foot dude that's arguably the greatest power for Atlanta. And on top of it all, you're going to have to contend with LeBron James. I don't know if anybody has paid notice, but LeBron James has emerged yet again as one of the leading candidates for league MVP honors since he has returned in the last two weeks. They're, they won nine straight. They're nine and one overall in their last ten games. He's averaging about 30. Kyrie Irving, arguably the best offensive player on Cleveland, just dropped a double nickel the other day. You look at it from that perspective with Kevin Love, with the acquisition of J.R. Smith coming, you know, being a uh, you know a sharpshooter, and Amon Shumpert being able to defend on the perimeter. Cleveland is clearly showing that it's going to be a team to be reckoned with. They'll probably be the favorites. In the end, who are you going to give the ball to in Atlanta? We don't know, but we all know that you could give the ball to LeBron James and somehow, some way, something will happen that is good. Yeah. Yeah. The craziest thing of the weekend is we're talking about the Atlanta Hawks on Super Bowl Saturday. Yes, yes, I, I'm stunned that that's the case. So and, and also, we had to fly all the way out here to be live with you. You know what? Come all the way across and, the and listen, all I know is this. All I know is this. I am touched because it's <laughs> Super Bowl weekend. And well, hold on. I, we have some tissue. I'm so touched right now. I'm, I'm, I'm getting emotional. It's Super Bowl weekend, and y'all have me. Oh, my gosh. Can I take a moment? <laughs> Don't pick Jim up. Don't pick Jim up. Here, just go back to the tricks. Go up. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> I'm in big Making trouble. Making friends already. No, yes. no. Can you go? Oh, look, he looks so much cuter that way. He looks so much cuter that way. Should we have him pick? We I think we pick? should have him pick. You know, All the right, puppy bowl is coming up tomorrow. Yeah, puppy bowl is coming he's up not, tomorrow. He's not getting, you know, he's not going to be getting it in there with the puppy bowl. Steal the stuff. show. No, no, no. He right. can mess up his hair. Let's see, Jeff. Do you like Tom Brady and Bill Belichick? Let's see if Jeff likes Tom Brady and Bill Belichick. Do you like them? Or maybe do you like the Legion of Boom?